Thrifting ain't easy. I'm feeling creepy. Comping diapers on my eBay app. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Anthony. So it's a very exciting day for me. It's the day that I get to start moving into my antique booth. Now, I'll make sure that I put the address down in the description also, but basically it's at an antique mall called J.W. Riley's Emporium, and it's in Greenfield, Indiana. Really cool place, and I'm excited to have a booth. I actually got pretty lucky with this booth because it's right in the front of the store in a window slot, so that's that seems like prime real estate to me. You know, hopefully that's the case. It's gonna take me a couple days to get moved in there because I can't just spend a whole day just getting everything ready because I have other stuff to do too. But first things first, we're here here at Walmart and I'm going to run in and get a couple shelving units. Uh, figured it's best just to get the shelves set up first before I start moving stuff in so that'll be step one. And like I said it's going to take a couple days but I'll condense everything into one neat little video package for you so you can basically see the entire process of getting the booth ready. So I'm going to run inside here get these shelves and either build them there at the booth or partially build them at home and then and then take them and finish them off at the booth. I'm not sure but I'll take you along with me. All right let's go. All right, so here we are inside Walmart. I'm gonna start off with these mainstays, five shelf bookshelves right here. I'm gonna grab two of these, the black ones. They are $29.88 each. And I think that'll be a good start, just have a little shelving inside the booth. I'm gonna add a table and a couple other things, but just to have two tall shelves will be nice for some of the smaller things I have that are going inside. So I'm gonna grab two of these and then I'll see you soon. All right, so here is the store right here. This is J.W. Riley's Emporium. The main entrance is right down there. If you look right inside this window, it's my booth. Right here in the front. I think it's basically three over from the register. I did already put the shelves up, but I'm gonna take you inside and show you what it looks like pretty much empty. And I'm gonna start loading some more stuff in. I brought a couple things I'm pour you over. But I'm gonna bring some more. So let's go see it. So here's what it looks like inside. It's pretty cool because they had this uh, display case that they weren't using. So they said I could use this and I can put some of my small stuff like pocket knives and, and, and smaller stuff like that. Maybe little pieces of jewelry. So that's nice to have. There's the shelves I put up. It's just a couple bookshelves from Walmart. And I brought over some inventory. It's gonna take me several trips to, to get it looking good, but I'm going to start putting some of this stuff on the shelves and start putting price tags on things. I'm probably going to have to bring a table put it right here for some stuff. Maybe like a corner shelf or something. Let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so here we are so far. Not a ton done, but it's starting to look like something, I guess. We've got some of the shelves going. We really need to get this table over here so I can get things like this typewriter up off the floor. Here is my fire extinguisher. And some of the shelves are starting to come along. Of course, we've got some lawn chairs and some coolers. Really stacked up on those this summer. So, yeah, time to go home and grab some more inventory and hopefully a table, maybe another shelf, and see what it can look like soon. All right, I'm here with another load. I decided to wear the GoPro this time. Maybe that might make the angles a little more interesting. We'll see. But I'm gonna run a table and some stuff. Keep loading stuff in. Looks like I sold the typewriter already. Hmm. I was gonna put that on the table. Oh well, I guess it's good it sold. Brought a bunch of vintage Christmas lights and stuff like that because 
now's probably the time. If it's ever gonna sell, I need to have it available in December. I showed you these price tags. Sarah's making them for me with her uh, vinyl cutter, but they're just cardstock, and they have like these weird retro designs on the back. On, on the side, it's white, and then they're in the shape of frogs. It's booth 398. It's an Emerson resuscitator, and I'm asking $68. I think those price tags are pretty cool. And then on things where I just need a sticky label, I just cut up some uh, four by six labels and stuck them right on there with the same information. The new old stock back game. game. Uh, Lionel train clock. all things that wouldn't really make sense to sell online because the profit margin wouldn't be good enough but I barely have anything in them so I might as well try to get rid of them in the booth here. A little Coca-Cola in here. Pretty cool there's a bunch of screws in the wall so I'm planning on just using some of these just move them to where I need them to hang some of this stuff on the wall. Santa figurine. Right there? It will fit right there. Some more various vintage lights. I think I'm going to move some of this. I didn't bring the cell, I brought just to display stuff on. Um, I was going to put the typewriter on top of it, but that's gone. So let me try to figure something else out real quick. Go ahead and move this extinguisher. Park these right back here. There we go. The screw might work good for the clock. just a little bit. banner that my buddy Scott over at Trash to Cash made me. Friday Flips banner. I figured I'll hang this in here somewhere. In my head I was thinking right over here. 
Yeah, that's, that'll probably work nicely. Uh, so let me. I could probably use that screw. I'm gonna take some of these other ones out. Let me see. Let me see. Where's my drill? not for sale though. That was a gift from my buddy Scott. Thanks Scott. Okay. Let's take this mirror. This is driving me nuts. CD. Doop. Doop. Okay. Now got this cool old archery target. I think I paid twenty five cents for it. I saw it had a cool look to it. Threw it in here for eight bucks. Got this old creeper from that awesome garage sale a while back. That would look really cool in here. Let me see where I should put it. Maybe I'll put Mr. Ben Zippy over here on this table. Eh, we'll just leave the table empty for now. Like something's going on here now, so that's good. Put 
this all right we really gotta get some stuff in here get some stuff to put inside the case i'm gonna have some stuff i just need to bring it so that's probably the next step oh there we go that looks better probably do one or two more trips for the video and then we'll call it a day as far as that goes obviously i'll keep bringing stuff in all the time but this video can't drag on forever so we'll just make it shoppable and i'm sure i'll show it again in videos in the future all right guys so as far as the video is concerned this is going to be the last trip for the day brought a few more things to load in a few things to throw in the case and then uh we'll wrap this up obviously it's going to be an ongoing process but we need a conclusion Records this time. I think I'm gonna set a marker on this table. Find somebody with this in a second. Okay, yeah, David Bowie, who, Johnny Cash, Jethro Tull, blah blah blah. So that's cool. I think you got those 45s priced number on here too. Those will probably be like a dollar a piece. Just to get Lucy. Let's see. And this over here. That's a model. Stuff with the case. It's a nice mantle clock. I'll do for now. A little Pontiac radio. These old uh, boxing gloves from I think the 70s for little kids. Mm. Let's see, I hang over here. there looky there got two sets of these got these at a yard sale a while back got a few things to throw in this case here this old mismatched uh, set of cue balls with this nice Brunswick rack Old Abu Garcia fishing spools. I'm gonna grab that folder pocket knife so I don't want to throw a penny. He's asking the price for all of them. Throw in here for now. A World War II trench art knife. And this little kinsfolk fishing knife right here. Full 
Volkswagen speedometer. Let me throw this on the bottom too. And then we have an old snap-on wrench. Not the best of shape, so I'm not asking a ton for it. We'll throw it in here. Nice old Oscar De La Renta bag. We'll just hang this right up here for now. I need to remember to bring my drill back next time. Okay. Alright, so there we have it. Just a quick walk around before we wrap this up. Starting to come along, starting to look like something's going on here. Many more trips for me, many more plans, but this will give us kind of an idea of what we have going on. Definitely need to fill this up more, but at least there's something in there now. One of my definite plans for this week is to get maybe like an as seen on YouTube type sign here. Have Sarah make me one. Maybe put some business cards in, in like a guest book or something. I think that'll be nice for right there. I'm possibly thinking about getting some of those uh, like five foot plastic shells from Walmart that are like 20 bucks. Maybe either putting some here in the middle because there's still all this unused space or moving the table over and putting a, a couple shelves right here. But we'll see exactly what I do. For now, I'm pretty happy with how it's looking. There it is from the outside. I wish that window wasn't broken, but oh well. Looks pretty cool, I think. The next door to Grigsby Station. All right guys, so that is gonna do it for me. Thanks so much for coming along. I know that an antique booth is not a get rich quick scheme or a get rich at all scheme, but I've wanted one for a long time, so I'm excited to finally have one and I'm even more excited to have people to share it with. I'm sure you'll be seeing a lot more of it in upcoming videos. Again, thank you so much for coming along. That's all I got for you this time. As always, I wanna thank you so much for watching the video, but until next time, stay safe, stay healthy. Love ya, bye. When they hear that cha-ching and they all look at me, I guess they'll know why I'm buying this crap.